Hello, this is Angur Bagai from Angur Bagai Media. And in our fourth video from our series, The List, we will talk about lenses. In our previous three videos, we talked about the upcoming lenses, the new launches, and the old cameras. But as we all know, it doesn't matter what body you are using. What matters are the lenses you put on. Also, the DSLRs and the both mirrorless cameras stand for the ILCE interchangeable lens system so let's talk about the camera lenses so in our first video in on the camera lenses we will talk about the 10 best nikon native lenses for the nikon users note that the, these these lenses are meant for the traditional dslr cameras rather than the mirrorless j series yes you can use lens, these lenses through some third party adapters as nikon doesn't make one but we won't suggest you to do so. Also, these lenses are not meant to be used as a third party lenses over the Sony or the Fujifilm systems as they are not well good enough as the Canners or the other native lenses. So let's start the list. On number 10, it is the Nikon AFS 200 to 400 EF4 version. Well, the, it, it is our most Expensive lens on the on this list and this is also one of the sharpest super telephoto zoom lens from Nikon company Nikon is famous for their big prime zooms like 600 mm 700 mm 800 mm 400 and 500 mm But those lenses are really very expensive going up to 18 and 17 lakhs while they are not Intelligent enough to buy or carry these around on the hikings or the for the wildlife photography or the sports photography every day those lenses are meant for the trending or the more of the traditional and the seasoned work but if you want to get one lens that can serve you as a perfect birding wireless sports lens also work as a super telephoto zoom lens for your camera system that nikon 200 to 400 f4 is the perfect lens the vr capability of this lens is as good as, as the other VR lenses from the Nikon. If the 5 lakhs budget is not for you, then you can also go for the mini version that is a 200 to 400 f5.6 version. Both the lenses are sharp and very well made. It, the build quality is as good as its holy trinity. And it is also claimed to be a part of the Nikon quadruple. Which the Nikon fanboy says that it is the perfect means of lens for every kind of photography which goes above 200 millimeters the next lens on our list is nikon 16 to 34 f4 vr lens 16 to 35 is one of the sharpest ultra wide zoom lenses from any camera system it was took over by the 14 to 24 f2.8 but the incapability of the vr or using the any kind of filters make it pretty unusable so 16 to 35 is still recommended and used by the many prof architectural as well as the landscape photographers worldwide travel photographers as well as the vloggers also love this lens as it does perfect work for every camera system while the constant f4 is good enough but it might not be as good as the f2.8 but f4 is good enough com compared with coupled with the vr system you can get really sharp and perfect photos. The next lens is the Nikon 105 micro f2.8 VR lens. It is the only special purpose micro lens on our list. And this is also our first prime lens on this list. Nikon 105 might not be the, their most sharpest prime lens, but we can assure you that it is one of the, their best lenses made for the micro purposes. Micro stand for the macro photography in the Nikon world. 105 is also mostly used by the portrait photographers along with the 85mm and the 135f2 DC lenses. 105 serve as a perfect carry-on lenses for portraits, micro photography as well as the part-time travel and street photography as well. With f2.8, it gives the pure bliss of the bokeh that is also used for for the micro photography as well the bokeh is very smooth and buttery so there, there is no problems in the background or behind your photos 
The next lens on our list is the Nikon 35mm f1.4. Nikon 35mm f1.4 is the one of the sharpest prime lenses from any camera system. The 35mm is, isn't the cheapest lens at all. The 35mm isn't cheap from any of the manufacturer, but most of the photographers prefer Sigma 1.35-1.4 art lenses over the Canon or the Nikon version. But the 35 is also one of the most used and most sold street lenses around the world. The 35mm 1.4 is an upgrade over the their older F2D lens. The next lens on our list is Nikon 51.2 non-AF lens. Yes, Nikon does have a f1.2 lens and no, it doesn't go over 1 lakhs like the Canon counterpart. It is only 36,000 making it pretty affordable for any kind of photography and any kind of photographer. It is a perfect lens for the astrophotography as well as the portrait photography and street photography. 51.2 is doesn't have VR or any kind of new technology nor it does have an autofocus system. It is based upon their older non-AF series so which means you cannot have the perfect focus over if you are not very well made with the manual work. But still it is one of the sharpest lens and it might be the only lens except for the 58 1.2 which doesn't have any kind of problems for astrophotography. The next lens on our list is the one of their sharpest prime lenses and one of the most loved portrait lenses around the world, Nikon 85 f1.4. Right now this video is shot on the Nikon 85 1.8G lens, which is one of the which is the most sharpest and the according to DxO one of the best lenses from the Nikon company. But the bigger and the most expensive version, 85 f1.4 isn't shabby at all. It might be 0.1 or 0.2% less sharper than the 1.8 version. But 1.4 gives us a special thing that is the bokeh and another half stop of light. Which is very useful and used by the many photographers worldwide including Danny Diamond Photography as well as Brendan Wuffel. The next lens, is, next lens on our list is the old but the gold lens of the Nikon company. Nikon 80-200 f2.8. ED new lens. 80 to 200 is the lens after which the new 7200 was made. This lens is might be the only perfect lens which is still in, continued by the company since 1990s. When it was launched, it was a tank of a lens which was the first lens every photographer wanted to purchase. It also have the f2.8 aperture which is a perfect for low light photography as well as other kind of portrait as well as fashion and glamour photography. It is the first choice glamour and fashion lenses for, for around the world until it was replaced by the 7200 f2.8. But still, you can get this lens new sealed packed from the Nikon company for just 76,000 which is perfect value for the thing. It might not have the VR or the latest technology but is it is one of those lenses which are which is Made in Japan is completely metal body and it is heavy as hell. But it is one of the sharpest super zoom lenses from the company. The next three lenses are the famous Nikon Trinity. Nikon Holy Trinity is one of the most famous, sharpest and the best Holy Trinity around the world. The Trinity is so good that even the Canon and the Sony aren't able to beat it yet. Even Sigma and Tamron doesn't come anywhere close to the Holy Trinity. The first line of the Holy Trinity is the Nikon 14-24 f2.8 VR non-VR zoom lens. It is one of the most sharpest ultra-wide lens and it is one of the lowest aperture ultra-wide lens until the Sigma launched their own 14-24 version. Yes, Sigma has launched their new Sigma 14-24 f2.8 lens which will cost around half, more than half the less of the original Nikon 14 to 24. But we are not sure that it would it be the as sharp as the 14 to 24 is. 14 to 24 biggest advantage is the distortion. It doesn't have any distortion at 14 mm, making the straight line straight. And especially the spherical element make is so sharp that 
from corner to corner that you can get the perfect architectural as well as real estate photos. The front element is really very big, so that you cannot use any kind of filter system until or unless you purchase a special filter system from the different company, which is very costly to purchase. The next is the Nikon 7200 f2.8 VR2 lens. We might not like the new FLED version, but the older VR2 is one of the most sharpest 7200 around the world. It even beats the 7200 f2.8 lens from Canon and the 7200 f2.8 G Master lens from Sony. It is one of the best and the well made lenses around the world and it is also one of the sharpest portrait as well as glamour and the fashion photography lens. 7200 is also recommended as one of the best length, focal length for around the world for many kind of photography. The last length on our list is the Nikon 24-70 f2.8 VR lens. The latest 24-70 f2.8 VR lens is the new upgrade for the non-VR version that, was, that came earlier from the Nikon. It is one of the best and the well-made lens. It is one of the sharpest lens as well. 24 to 70 is one of the best focal lens for any kind of photography. 254 is wide enough for travel and landscape and street photography and 70 is long enough for the portraits and other kind of photography. 24 to 70 is also very useful lens for the day to day purposes. It is one of the all round and best all rounder lens from the Nikon. So these 10 lenses are the best Nikon lenses that you can buy for money right now. In our next video, we will talk about the best 10 lenses from the Canon, followed by the best 10 lenses from the Sony. After that, we will talk about the third party lenses for all the three systems. In our vlog following week for the third party Sony lenses, we will talk about why you shouldn't be using adapters and why you should use adapters. Also, what adapters in India are the best adapters and what kind of adapter we want to have in the future. Also in this week's vlog, we will talk about camera accessories which will make you much more comfortable and stable as well as give you much more advantage in your kind of photography. That's it from this week of the list. We will see you next week with our another video. So stay tuned, stay frosty and please like, subscribe and share this video if you like our content. Thank you. This is Ankur Bagai from Ankur Bagai Media.